In today's video I'm gonna show you how to put music into your website and we're also gonna create this little design with hover effects and a navbar like this and if you click on this icon it plays the music and when you click on it again it stops it so let's get into it so I have this couple of images you can find the links in the description the pause icon play icon the headphone and the background image and I also have this index.html file with style.css just reset some padding and margin and set font family to poppins and I also have this mp3 file for the music so for now that's all we need let's right click and open this html file on the browser so first we're gonna create a wrapper to put everything inside I'm gonna create a header as well a anchor tag for the logo let's give it a class of logo as well I'm gonna say music let's put the hub in a span so that we can change the color and we're gonna create the navigation section I'm gonna put some list items inside let's say musics hits podcasts new releases and your library it looks like this so now let's style this so first let's add the background image I'm gonna say background background.png no repeat and to make this cover the whole page you're gonna say minimum height 100 vh and the background size cover and also we want to center this so background position center and for the wrapper the same as the background we wanted to cover the whole page so we're gonna give it a hundred percent width and hundred percent height and minimum height of 100 vh also so we're gonna use this wrapper to create this overlay this glass kind of effect gonna give it a blur as well let's make it five pixels there you go so for the header you're gonna give it position fix because we want it to stay at the top so top zero left zero and with 100% because we wanted to fill this width and also we're gonna make this a flex box so when you make it a flex box it puts all of those items side by side like this and to create some space between those items we're gonna say justify content space between and as you can see it put all the available space between those different items and push them aside and we also gonna add some padding 2 em 15 em so the first one is for the top and the bottom so we basically put 2 em of space at the top and 2 em space at the bottom and 15 is for the sides so there is 15 em space at the left and 15 em space at the right and also we want to align those items on the same line horizontally and for that we're gonna say align items center to center them horizontally like this and let's quickly style the list as well we're gonna make it display flex 2 align items center and to delete those bullet points we're gonna say list style none and to create some space between them we're gonna say gap 6 em so now it looks like this so let's style those anchor tags as well display inline block and we're gonna make them white so to delete this underline we're gonna say text decoration none and let's put some space between those letters as well one pixel and we're gonna create a hover effect so let's create a transition of 0.3 seconds ease and a border bottom for the hover effect I'm gonna make it transparent now so when you hover over this I'm gonna make it a little bigger using transform scale let's make it 1.2 and we also gonna create a bottom 
So when you hover over it, it gets bigger and there is this underline. So let's also style that logo as well. I'm gonna make it white, text decoration none as well. And we're gonna make it very bold and set the font size to 30 pixel to make it a lot bigger and letter spacing of 3 pixel as well and the transition for the hover effect looks like this now so let's change the color for the span gonna make it that same orange and the hover effect gonna make it bigger yeah it looks fine so now let's deal with the rest of the html so right under the header we're gonna create this div with the class name content and we're gonna create another one left column and we're gonna put the h1 tag inside say fill gonna put a break in here and another break music and another div write call and we're gonna say click to listen let's see how it looks it looks like this now so let's put the images we're gonna put the headphone image in between class of headphone and the play button is gonna be right under this paragraph Let's give it a class of play as well. Let's see how it looks. Looks like this now. So the content div is going to be with 100% position absolute. And we're gonna give it top 30% to create some space at the top. Looks like this now. And the div on the left, we're gonna create some space on the left. For the H1, I'm gonna make it really big, color white, and we're gonna give it a nice line height of 120 pixels to create some space between the lines. And we want it to float left to stay at the very left. And yeah, it looks fine. So let's put this music in a span so we can change the color. So left call span is going to be that nice orange and the right column is going to be display flex to put the items side by side and to align them horizontally you're gonna say align items center we want it to float right gonna give it a padding of 15 pixel at the top and the bottom and 40 pixel on the sides and let's create some more space for the right and at the top and let's make the text bigger and make the color white a bit bolder and we're also going to create a small border around this with the radius of 2em yeah it looks fine Let's create some space between the item and that text. Margin right 15 pixel. And let's make that icon smaller. Transition 0 0.3. Oops. And max width is going to be 50 pixel with the cursor pointer. So for the hover effect, gonna make it bigger using transform scale and the headphone image gonna give it a width of 350 pixels with margin left 18 pixel we basically trying to put this in the center by creating space on the left and the top and transition 0.3 is and we're gonna make this bigger we are done with the CSS so let's see how it looks 
Yeah, it looks fine. Everything is in the place. Hover effects work. So now let's add the functionality for the music. So we're gonna create a audio tag outside this wrapper div. We're gonna give it a ID of music. And inside we're gonna put the music in. And we're also gonna give this a type of audio mp3 and ID icon for this icon image as well. So basically what are we gonna do is when you click on this icon you're gonna play the music and change this icon to the pause icon and when you click on it again the icon is gonna change back to this play icon and the music is gonna stop. So we're gonna do this with JavaScript. So let's create a script tag. So we're gonna create two variables let music and let icon and we're gonna put those elements inside these variables. So we're gonna put this music inside and we're gonna select it with ID, say music. And we're also gonna put this icon inside this variable. So let's select it, get elements by ID and the ID is icon. So we put this music element inside of this variable called music and we put the icon element inside of this variable called icon and now we're gonna use them to create this function so we're gonna create this with on click function so we are basically telling JavaScript when you click on this icon this function is gonna get executed so we're gonna create a if statement so if the music is paused, we're gonna play the music and we're gonna set the icon to the pause icon. So this looks very confusing, but let's finish it first and I'm gonna explain what it does. So now let's see if it works. <laughs> Yeah, it works fine. So let me explain what we did. So this block of code basically means if you click on this icon, play the music and change this icon to pause.png. Otherwise, so if you click it again, change the icon back to the play.png and pause the music. And that is it. That is how you create a website with music. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.